Russia has reported 1,100 COVID deaths in the past 24 hours. That's an all-time high for the country. It comes as Moscow reimposes partial lockdown measures to try to curb the spread of the disease. All non-essential businesses in the capital are shut ahead of a national non-working week. The state task force has also reported more than 40,000 new infections. Infections are rising across Russia and it's now one of the worst affected countries in Europe. Hospitals are overrun and doctors say most patients are unvaccinated. The hospital is completely full. About 10% of patients are discharged every day and an equal number admitted to hospital on the same day. There are many more patients than in the previous coronavirus wave. Moscow has reimposed a partial lockdown and only essential shops like pharmacies and supermarkets are allowed to remain open. At one of the city's main train stations, emergency servicemen suit up and start disinfecting before the first commuters arrive. President Vladimir Putin has also ordered a nationwide shutdown of workplaces from Saturday but many Russians have decided to use the paid leave for a holiday. There is a very large flow of tourists. Prices have rocketed for all the destinations that we provide. Due to this lockdown, people are leaving. Honestly, I'm not scared. They're trying to keep on top of this, including the hotels. It's not my first holiday this year, it's probably my fifth. They're trying to follow and observe the rules. Plus, I'm vaccinated. That won't save you, but it will still help, so everything will be great. The Kremlin has stopped short of banning travel but has warned against it. That message appears to be falling on deaf ears, with recent polls suggesting one-third of Russians plan to travel during the workplace shutdown.